In 2011, MPs led by the then FDC member and now State Minister for Environment Beatrice Anyua and the Advocates Coalition for Development and Environment Accord filed a petition before the Constitutional Court challenging the payment of 20 million shillings to MPs in the 8th Parliament to popularize the NADS program. To the petitioners, releasing this money just a month the end of their term was an unconstitutional charge on the consolidated fund, double payment, a breach of public trust and bribery of MPs. If we had argued that by trying to give this money as an inducement, the government was trying to usurp the authority of the people as embedded under Article 1 of the Constitution. Despite their arguments, court led by the then Deputy Chief Justice, Al Simpaj Bahigeine, dismissed the petition and held that the payment was constitutional. The, the government lawyers did, uh, did their homework. They got an affidavit sworn in by including uh, 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 by the Secretary to the Treasury, uh, PS, uh, Permanent Secretary, Minister of Finance, who is also the Secretary to the Treasury, essentially deponed to the fact that the, the, ex the expenditure had been authorized. So pardon, the court really was put in this position of uh, all this was procedurally done. Unless the finance ministry disowns the authorization of this expenditure, this area president is likely to have a bearing on the petition by Ntunga Municipality MP Gerard Karuhanga before Justice Esther Nambayo of the Civil Division of the High Court. Uh, the, only, uh, uh, the only safeguard that one would think of is I think that if the president is not interested in this money, it is very easy, it's very possible to influence the courts to, to rule against the parliament, actually. As of today, only four MPs have returned the 20 million to the Parliamentary Commission account. These include Chadondo East MP Robert Chagulanyi, Nyabshoz County MP Colonel Fred Mwesije, Botambala County MP Mwanga Chivumbi, and Masaka Municipality MP Mathias Impuga. I never, never approved of the whole arrangement. It is morally wrong because this is a time when everybody is contributing to the national task force. And it's not the time for us to take. Even most importantly, other than the manner of its voting, uh, is the, is the frimsiness of the reasons given for advancing it. I did not find them convincing as a legislator. I know my duty. My people are in need of relief, but not frimsy relief. My people need relief, but this relief is supposed to be properly thought through by legislators. However, the leader of opposition, Betty Yawolo Chan, differs with some of her members as she maintains that this money was passed following the due process. I told you already, members of parliament, even before, in ordinary time, have a lot of pressure. How about now with the corona? The first pressure is food, food. The first pressure members of parliament are receiving right now is food. The fate of this money will be decided by court on Wednesday. Habadziwa, NTV.